My name is Jessica Breedlove, and I'm a prosecutor with the City of Phoenix. Today I'm here to talk to you about the City of Phoenix amended lobbying ordinance that's effective July 1st, 2017. Before I begin, this is not legal advice. Nothing takes the place of reading the ordinance yourself to completely understand all of the changes. After watching this, please take a moment to read the new law in its entirety because the obligations rest solely on the lobbyist. All right, I'm going to walk you through a brief overview of some of the substantive changes to the lobbying ordinance. While there are many changes throughout the ordinance, I'd like to draw your attention to four areas. Some definition changes, filing date changes, new disclosure requirement, and some violation sections. First, definition changes. There is now a new definition for compensation. There is an expanded definition of expenditure, but the biggest change is to the definition of city official. Previously, a lobbyist only had to register and report expenditures for lobbying elected or appointed city officials. Now, a lobbyist must register if they're lobbying the following individuals. City council, the mayor, anyone serving in the administrative office of city council or the mayor, anyone serving an appointment to a City of Phoenix board, commission, or committee, the executive staff, meaning the city manager or deputies, and all department heads or functioning department heads. A lobbyist still has five days to register after initially lobbying at the City of Phoenix. Second, filing dates have changed. Previously, expenditure reports were due the last day of each quarter. They're now due April 15th, July 15th, October 15th, and January 15th. And the new annual registration date is January 15th of each year. We are really excited here at the city because beginning in 2018, we'll be introducing our new electronic registration process. And with that, we'll be asking you to provide a unique email address to receive notifications electronically. The third big change I wanted to touch upon is our new disclosure requirement, located in City of Phoenix Code 2-1001.01. It requires that when a lobbyist communicates with any city official in the lobbyist's capacity as a lobbyist, that must be disclosed to the city official. Now those of you who lobby at the state level are most likely familiar with this requirement because it's required at the state level as well. Finally, our last topic is violations. The city has changed both the penalty structure and the enforcement mechanism for violations of lobbying ordinance. If the city clerk is made aware of a possible violation of the lobbying ordinance, the first thing that will happen is a cure letter will go out asking the lobbyist to cure the violation within 15 days. If the violation is cured within the 15 days, then no further action is taken. However, if the notice violation has not been cured on the 15th day by 5 p.m., then the information is forwarded to either the Ethics Commission or the City Attorney's Office in the alternative for investigation. If a lobbyist is found to be in violation of the ordinance, the following progressive penalty structure is in place. A first violation is a civil offense with a mandatory minimum fine of $1,000 per violation and a required suspension from lobbying at the city for three months. A second violation within 84 months is still a civil offense but with a mandatory minimum fine of $2,000 per violation and a required suspension from lobbying at the city for 180 days. And a third violation within 84 months is a class one misdemeanor and a required suspension from lobbying at the city for one year. So keep a lookout for our updated lobbying handbook and updated frequently asked questions on the city clerk's webpage. Thank you so much for taking a moment to learn about some of the important changes to our lobbying ordinance, effective July 1st, 2017. Have a great day.